everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Spellbinders, and going to show a little bit something different, especially during this time of the year, and these are called Scenic Snapshots. Now, I say that slowly because sometimes I won't say it right. So, these are different die sets. Now, I have two of these um, to show you, and we'll be working with one of them. So, the one that we will be working is Harvest Time. I thought it was close to our season that we're in. And then the other one that I have here is Spring Time. So you can see har excuse me, Harvest Time is just that. We've got a farm. And then for Spring Time, we have a really cute windmill. Now, there is another die that goes with these. Um, and it can create like a dome that it sits in, one of those glass domes. So that is separate. So... I'll have it linked below it linked below if you want to see that. So as you see, I dug into my scraps. No new pieces of cardstock were used here for this card. Um, so I enjoyed being able to do that. I've die cut all of my pieces. So if you are a die cutter and like to put puzzles together, this is absolutely perfect for you. So you can see as I'm layering up the grassy hills, that's what we're going to call those, it's going to start to create the dome, um, you know, that dome shape. I wanted to show that you can create a card, a die cut card, without using that. So after I get the grassy hills in, then I'm going to get my sun in there. Now I'm doing this on light blue paper because I do want to have a sky in the background. Now I started to put my layers together. Well, what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to cut this out. I'm going to cut around the line of my die cuts. So I'm automatically going to have that blue background. Now you could certainly use the sun and die cut it also from a piece of blue cardstock, and then you would have those pieces to put in between. But I figured this is going to give me a layered look. So now that I have my base, now we can go through and layer up our pieces, create our scene. So as you can see, because it's harvest time, I thought that was fitting because we are, I believe, still in the fall even though in my area it's starting to feel like winter already, but that's okay. So I figured this was good, you know, harvest time. I, I know, but that's what we went with. So I'm building up the side of the barn. I have the front. So of course for the front, you also get your die for the doors that you can set in place. I also used a golden yellow for the inside of the windows. To make it look like there's a light going on there. I'm now going to put my uh, roof pieces on. Now I forgot to put the front piece on first. So it's another reason why I like to use a liquid adhesive. I've got that little bit of time to pull it back off. So once I have that one piece in, I'm going to set my roof. And now I'm going to set the next piece in. And there's something that I forgot. That's, that's why I'm doing this. So see, I keep everything in to say, yes, sometimes when you dive right in, you still have a boo-boo. And that's because I wasn't setting these pieces right. And then I finally got it. There we go. So now I'm going to put the little stack on top of the roof. And I'm going to set that in place. And then they actually have another die that you can use a darker color just to give it, make it look 3D. And then the same thing for that roof as well. So every once in a while, I will pull the piece up so that you can um, see the pieces as I'm putting them together. I should have zoomed in just um, a little bit. So my bad. So now I'm adding the tree and I've chosen a couple browns to layer my tree with. And I'm just going to set those in place, also using my liquid glue. I have found that tweezers 
and I use a wax pencil to lift up my sequins and gemstones when I'm embellishing my cards. Works great for cardstock too. Those itty bitty pieces. And there are a few of those for this one. I'm going to set the flowers in place. I have a few leaves that are on the ground and I'm going to just set those flowers. I chose some bright colors for those just so that they would stand out. And there's also a die to cut out the center of those flowers as well. I chose not to use that because I'm going to be honest, I lost those die cuts. Yes, and realized that at this time. I've cut my sentiment out a couple times just to give it a little bit of dimension, and I'm just going to layer those together. Now, for this sentiment, it is separate. So the H-A-R is one piece, and then the vest time um, is separate. So you just want to make sure that you're centering your sentiment in place on your card. I'm setting all of these pieces on a standard A2 size card base and it is a top folding. Standard A2 size card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. So once the one side is in, I'm going to set down the beginning of the sentiment. And then I'm going to use some foam squares to prop up my focal point. I think the, you know, with all of this dye and, and the way this looks, it actually looks like a quilt. Um, with all of the pieces and applique quilt, which I think is really cool. I'm going to set that right above the sentiment. And there is our card. I'm going to come in with my shimmer pen um, and I'm going to add some glitter to the sun. And I'm just going to go along the rays. And then I will finally come in with my uh, black gel pen. And that's what I'm going to use for the center of my flowers. Just to give them a little bit of color. So that is our project. So a little bit something different, as I said. Again, these are called scenic snapshots and I believe there are four different versions available. If you're interested in the products that I use in today's videos they will be linked down below in the video description. If you have any questions or comments please make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and just spending this little bit of time with me today to watch my video. If you haven't yet I'd love for you to subscribe Make sure you ring the bell and hit that thumbs up. By ringing the bell, you're sure to know when the next video is live. Again, enjoy your day, but always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative.